Hey, 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 what's going on, guys? So, B here, and we've got a couple cool things going on. Uh, it's actually a really good time to grind. If you're, if you're ready to grind, today's the day, because we've got this new thing. It is a new neutral realm invasion, the research facilities. So these are the Nephilim research facilities. Uh, there's level 30, 35, 40, 50s. I think there's even 60s around here. And uh, they drop VIP points. Really cool, they drop VIP points, so normal VIP. They also drop data crystals, which we can use in the Magitech converter to create super VIP points using our old VIP points and the data crystals. So it's a good time to grind out. Um, so I can show you guys real quick. Here's the event. It's a really difficult event, though. Uh, it's difficult for a few reasons. Uh, number one is no matter how strong your troops are, you're not going to have much of an. You're actually not going to have any advantage on getting the higher tier. So uh, even if T3 does just as well as T8 against these empires, and here's why: because there's different levels to the uh, Nephilim research facilities. There's different levels. There's level three troops, level four troops, five troops, six troops, seven troops, and level eight troops. And after you kill all the troops of one level, your march just turns around and goes home. So you can't zero an entire empire in one hit. You got to send as many hits, as many marches on that citadel or on that, uh, you know, that empire, as there are levels. So if you see they have level three, five, six, and seven. So let's say they have like four levels. You're gonna need to send four marches to zero it. Uh, the cool thing is you can send four marches of T3 cavalry troops, which is what I've been doing. The reason I've been sending tier three cavalry troops is because. Uh, the lower tier troops are a lot faster. Oh, here I sent some level 4, but I've been sending 3 and 4. Uh, and then the cavalry troops are also faster than the mages and the warriors. So I've been sending level 3 cavalry troops. Uh, they move pretty quick across the map. I've been using the march speed boost in the crystal nexus, so that'll help. I've also been sending my hero with winged assassin gear. Uh, a lot of people have been asking what hero to use and what gear to use. Uh, from my testing, it doesn't really matter because you're going to clear out the floor you're hitting anyway and you're not going to go past that, right? So here I just killed the level 5 troops and the level 5 floor boss. And once you take out that level floor boss, your troops return, they don't start eating into the next level. So so it almost doesn't matter if you're gearless, like you're going to hit, you're going to clear the floor pretty easily, guys. Trust me, it's easy to clear these floors, especially on the lower level empires. So it doesn't matter what gear you have. One thing I would say is you could use Winged Assassin because Winged Assassin gear gives you march speed, uh, attack march speed boost. So at least one of your marches would be moving a little quicker with that. Uh, that would help. Another thing I would highly recommend doing, and I'm going to do this before I forget, is in the Order of Heroes, there's a couple of these that will help you out. There's Order of Dawn. This will give you a march speed boost. Uh, you know, every little bit helps, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get that march speed boost. And the other one is the March slot one. It's going to be pretty nice here. Uh, get that extra March slot because we're going to need to have Marches constantly going out. To, if we're going to have any chance of getting that Tier 3 as a you know level 60, level 70, the higher your Citadel level, the higher it is, the harder it is to get that Tier 3. Some people it's over 300 million, which, ooh, I feel bad for those guys because there, it's not... I can hit 189 million way easier than anybody could hit 300 million on this. Like, that's just how it is. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a wrap. It's a pretty good event, too, because uh, you get tons of data crystals on that third tier. You get good march speed ups. I mean, it's all it's a good, good, uh, if we could get that 2-3, it'd be really nice. That reminds me, guys, we have perhaps the greatest, the greatest event reward I've ever seen. Uh, I think this beats that last one that I talked about that was the greatest ever. So the last one that was so good it came with a free building unlock and VIP points. Well, this one, guys, the Tier 2, it's a 20... Oh, first things first, it's a 24-day event. So you've got... It'll be easy to hit that Tier 3. All you got to do, do the Adventures Day mini quest, hit some monsters, and you'll easily hit that Tier 3. Like, you only need three days to do it, and they're giving you 24 days. So, awesome. Another cool thing, we have a title up for grabs. Uh, if you win this event, you get 
thousand troop attack, thousand armor piercing, and the march speed. The march speed is actually pretty good. Uh, at this stage in the game, a thousand attack, thousand armor piercing is kind of negligible, but the march speed up actually is pretty good. <laughs> Uh, and if you win, you get the uh, 8 times 50 k hero MP, another good thing. So that's pretty cool, but here's what makes this so good, guys. You get toolkits, you get, uh, I think these are like some kind of buffs, so empire buffs, so temporary empire buffs. So these last an hour, uh, but here's what, here it is. Is that a choose your hero unlock item? I think it is, guys. I think everybody that wants it, can get a free hero unlock item. So so hopefully this means that people won't be sending me messages like, hey Brad, can you give me a hero unlock? You got one right here, buddy. You just gotta go after it. Mm, that's gonna be so good. And then eight hour buffs here too. So uh, and teleports, mercenary rations, uh, blessings, this is all good stuff guys. And 24 hour boosts. So uh, it's a good day to good day to grind. And you can easily get that doing the mini offense. So Cool. That's good. That's good stuff, guys. Uh, we've also got these cool little events, which is just kind of opening up gifts, guild helps, quests, if you're hatching eggs. Doesn't really drop anything though. It's just kind of for pride, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess you get ten snowflakes. That's, you know, you do that, do that along with the adventures day quest. You'll hit that tier three easy. I, I wonder if a tier four will open up when we hit it too. I bet it will. I bet there's a tier four just waiting to be unlocked, and I wonder what it's going to be. Whew, exciting, guys. So, so yeah, it doesn't really matter what troop. Back to this um, invasion here, the research facilities. Doesn't matter what troop you use. T3 is just fine. Uh, you could use lightning troops. Lightning troops are going to be the fastest troop you could use. So if you're just, if you don't mind losing a couple hundred lightning troop every attack, that would be the way to go because. Lightning troops are so fast, and we're going to need we're going to need as many we're going to need we're going to need a haul for this event. <laughs> that simple. We're going to need the haul. Uh, oh, we've got a couple badges. I wonder if this is first prize, second prize, and third prize, maybe, or if you get the option. Um, place high enough in this event, and you can walk away with all new winter titles. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'd like I'd like all of these. <laughs> Give it to me. I want it. Um, yeah, it's been a long day for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another cool thing. Uh, maybe I'll talk about this in another video. When uh, I'm a little more alert and awake and conscious, but or cognizant. Yeah, I'm just out of it today, guys. But really cool. Ignis level 200 is awesome. Look at that, man. Look at some of these buffs. Sieges. 100,000 attack. Mm, that's sweet. Uh, yeah, this is just awesome. Fire troop attack, 55,000. Another cool thing is I figured out, uh, and I'm going to do this in another video, but just real quick, I can show you guys one thing real fast. Is uh, So I mentioned, so Noctis, Luna, Prompto, and Ignis all are unlocked to 200 for my realm. And they're level 150 mastery, or that that limit break, hey, I didn't say link strike that time. I got it right. The limit break skill here that you need 151 for. Uh, this, all this is, it unlocks the ability to use a uh, enchantment in the Arcanium. So it's actually really cool because Prompto, his enchantment buffs boots. So Noctis's enchantment buffs weapons. Uh, Luna's enchantment, I forget which one it buffs, but Prompto's buffs boots. And this one, I think, buffs maybe helmets, or we'll get into all this more, but but that's really cool. So in theory, you can enchant all your gear now, and you would be a freak if you enchanted all your gear, uh, or at least most your gear. We don't have all, all yet, but so in the previous video, I noted, like, oh, you, there's body armor listed here. Before, it was just weapons. Uh, so like in this enchantment, you need the Hex Bloom offering, and I don't know what hero you'll need for this, but... You, you're going to get these drops. You're going to get this Hex Bloom offering drops uh, if you're using one of your heroes leveled above 151. I'm not sure which one, but but as we know, Noctis, he drops the weapon enchantment. Uh, Matt's, he drops the... So if you're attacking with Noctis, he'll drop this every once in a while, this reactant. Uh, and Prompto, he, he, Prompto drops the boot one. 
So if we come over here to boots, you can enchant your boots with this. And this is Prompto, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, March Speed and Armor Shredding. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. Uh, so if you have your Prompto above 151 and you have that Limit Break skill, uh, and you're attacking monsters with him, it'll occasionally drop this Noxious Reagent. So that's how you get these materials. Uh, you just need the right hero and get him get his limit break skill. So I would a lot of people are saying like, oh, don't get the limit break skill first. Max out your like your the troop buffs. And I disagree. I would get the limit break skill because the limit break skill is going to allow you to start getting the mats when you attack with that hero. So it's good to go ahead and store up these mats because the buffs are so good. Like that's way better than yo. Yeah, oh, oh, that's good, guys. That's good. Yeah, so I would definitely unlock your limit break skill and attack constantly with that hero to get the reagents and the the materials from it. So just a heads up on that. Well, you guys know what's out there, and uh, I'm gonna make a good video on that. Hopefully, hopefully, see that might be my next my next big video. Though I got a lot of stuff I want to do now. I want to do like an attacking video, testing out different elemental combinations, and uh, yeah. So there's a lot coming. There's just stay tuned, guys. There's more coming. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm out.